finally made it back safe and sound from the paint. Guys, today is feel good Friday, but imagine how good you'll feel in this truck plus $15,000 cash in your pocket. And that is exactly what we're doing. And we decided to extend 5X entries throughout the weekend. So something like this brand new license plate frame that we just dropped can get you 100 entries towards this truck right here. So be sure to visit goonsquad.com, check out all the official rules, copy some gear and get automatically entered. Whoa. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the new Goon Squad garage and today we're gonna continue working on our 2021 Ford Bronco Wild Track. And as you guys seen in the previous video, we finally made it back into the paint booth after taking like a whole four or five months off we finally made it back in and we primed all of our aftermarket fenders and we actually already went ahead and sanded them. I think we just gotta do a little bit of touch-ups and today we're heading back over there. We're gonna throw some beautiful, original, forget the name of it, some beautiful blue metallic paint back onto those fenders, dude. dude it's gonna look amazing, that dude. anti-matter, dude. Anti-matter <laughs> blue, dude. That stuff is gonna look super good, especially in sunlight and different types of lighting. But dude, I'm excited to actually go back into the paint booth and throw down some original paint, yeah, dude. Yeah, throw paint on all these fenders. So what we're gonna do is paint all the fenders in the hood Yep. And then uh, once we get that painted, then we'll take the actual Bronco and paint like the door jam and the door and stuff and the like door, that. Exactly. It's going to be like a two-step process, but you know what? This does take up a lot of space, so we got to do it just like this. But anyways, I guess right now we're going to go ahead, fire up the military truck. We're going to take that there once again, right? Yeah, we're gonna. that's the best way to do it, dude. We're going to go ahead, turn that sucker around, pull it in here, load everything up, head over there, and hopefully start spraying some paint. Alrighty guys, so we made it here once again with the military truck and I gotta say dude, that thing's a beast. Dude, I'm telling you, every time we drive it, dude, we just realize how much, uh, cap how capable this thing dude, is. I mean, it's very dude. capable, very useful. There's so many things you could use to describe this thing. I mean, what can you not do with this thing? Dude, I'm telling you, everybody needs one of these. I mean, you can drive to the local store, get your groceries, and you can go off-road and up a mountain and go living if you got a box one, dude. Exactly, dude. This thing's an absolute beast. I love how we build, built it, but I think we could definitely change a few things up, yeah. get the solar panels working, get everything 100%. Maybe we'll do that a little bit later and maybe Pops will go on a little vacation, maybe. Yeah, it's a good idea. I need uh, for summertime. I have uh, already vacation uh, registration someplace. I need it, yeah, it's yeah. nice. Trying to go out in the mountain, dude, that'd be sick. Dude, dude, that's awesome. We got all the parts in the back right there. Everything is smooth back. I didn't even have to touch anything. I was back there just to make sure nothing uh, kind of moved around. Everything is good. Just when we take this stuff back, it might be an issue, or we'll bring the Bronco dude, here, dude. We'll probably bring the Bronco here, paint the inside of the jam, and then we'll probably throw this whole entire thing together and drive it back, Exactly, because we got a bunch of boxes, dude. which included our lift our kit, Our lift kit, dude. I am super excited about that. That means the Bronco can finally come off the frame machine, and we can go ahead and see what that thing dude, actually looks finally like. finally, things are coming together. Yes, All sir. the parts are here, pretty much. So right now, I guess let's just go ahead and set everything up, put on our suits, our masks, and spray the sucker in.
All right, guys, so we finally got all the wide body and the hood completely painted, and it looks absolutely amazing. The clear coat went down great, the paint went down great, and it looks original, dude. dude it looks so good. Let's just go ahead and step in there. This stuff is just fresh and hot and ready you know dude, what i mean, I mean i'm dude. telling you man we just got done clear coat and we did two nice coats of clear super thick and this stuff just looks slick and look at that man that looks dude, amazing that looks man. super sweet this paint right here almost looks like a color shift paint because literally it looks like it's all black and then yeah. once that light hits it just a little bit dude it brightens dude, up man almost like uh, the two-tone you know what i mean yeah. in the sun dude it's gonna be insane you'll probably be able to see all the metallics the blue and all that good wow. stuff the finish came out good we had to drop the hood we had it hanging up for base coat because i kind of wanted to throw base all around but for the clear coat we dropped it and it just it just turned out amazing yeah dude. when usually when you fl drop it flat dude the the clear coat just gets nice and smooth if we would have left it like that i have a feeling that it would have been really rough yeah it, it, i already experienced that from multiple vehicles laying down the hood is probably going to be the, the best results at the end yeah, dude. with any of these body panels if you lay them smooth they're going to turn out smooth and i love exactly how we set everything up Wow, dude. Look at that deep, what is it called again? It's anti-matter. Anti-matter, dude. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. It's like a chameleon type of color. Looks absolutely insane. Something that just like belongs on a spaceship in outer space, dude. Dude, I'm telling you, man, this thing's gonna look so good when it's fully dude. put back together, dude. Oh I can't wait gosh. to paint the rest of the Bronco, dude. It's gonna be insane, dude. Wow, dude, I absolutely love it. Every potty panel here turned out absolutely perfect. And like there's very minimal like nibs yeah. in it you yeah, know what very i mean tiny dude honestly that ain't nothing dude this is probably one of the best paint jobs so I far i gotta dude. say and we're using some amazing product the paint the clear coat that's the most important thing well the most important thing is the painter uh, which, obviously and which, the paint booth which is the paint booth is doing pretty good as it's well it's doing you know? amazing but look at that hood over there literally looks like it's a black hood it's man it's crazy how it just shifts like that but you know what tomorrow is going to be some sun we're going to finally see what it actually looks like exactly goodness guys we have finally made it back safe and sound from the paint booth and this stuff is looking amazing dude, dude. looks super clean super slicked in man that is just amazing dude, dude it's perfect the sun came out and everything and it's just gonna bake this stuff because this morning is actually still a little bit fresh because there's a lot of humidity in the yeah, air last it night. rained really hard yesterday and last night but today the sun's out it's gonna be almost 80 degrees so it's perfect this stuff is gonna bake all those blue flakes in there dude. look amazing in the sun that just looks wow. out Wow. look you can actually kind of see the blue so it looks like it's a black paint with like a blue metallic yeah almost, exactly you know I mean? dude it almost looks black from most angles but then once you get really close dude, it looks beautiful right there everything dude. turned out just about perfect dude. dude i don't think there's any flaws i mean look at this it's just amazing the clear coat laid down perfectly we did two coats of heavy clear because after reading how to throw that clear coat people are saying to do two heavy coats so that's exactly what we did and it came out perfect dude. i mean look at that man that's amazing oh my dude. goodness dude i cannot wait to throw this on the bronco that bronco is basically complete dude, dude almost. almost i mean all we got to do is just paint the inside of that door jam and the door and that's pretty much it and also we got to put the suspension on it dude. exactly yeah. it, dude. i think we're going to finish the paint job in the next video so that's not going to be in today's video because we really want to get that sucker off of the frame machine yeah. Which we we opened up the differential, right? Yeah, we opened off. up the differential because that was like the most crucial, important part because the dealership actually cannot get this tube for our differential. It's super hard to get. So we found one on eBay. This is a non-locker one, I think off of a regular Bronco, but the actual tube itself is exactly the same. So that was like 900 bucks instead of like $1,400. And we're just gonna swap out the tube and be dude, good, dude. That was the only one that I could find. The dealership just, just didn't have any luck at all tracking that down. 
found one on eBay and we we're like, dude, that looks exactly the same. Yeah. And it turns out that it is exactly the same, yeah, dude. Just a non-locker one, probably different gear ratio and stuff like that. But who cares? We just need that tube. So that's all we got to do. We're going to swap the tube, throw that sucker back in, throw our suspension in, throw our brand new lift kit in. Dude, we're super excited about this. We've got a bunch of epic stuff for this thing planned, dude. Dude, dude this is going to be epic. I say man. that's what we do next. I yeah. say we go ahead and maybe start swapping some things with this differential right here crack open all of our suspension right Dude, and hopefully get this thing sitting on all fours suspension right there it did kind of have some nice shocks originally for the sasquatch edition but dude that is a coil over right there with a nice reservoir that's going to be smooth dude, man these things are absolutely insane these have e-box springs right here with the rad flow uh piggyback shocks these are going to be absolutely insane dude these are going to ride amazing it's going to give that a better freaking flex on the <laughs> freaking trail that man. is right right there and look at this we also got some upper control arms some nice billet aluminum hamburg control arms right there Dude, those are nice these dude. are nice and they come with these kind of high joints right here which actually allows more flex so that's a good thing about these kind of ball joints right here and the trailing arms in the rear these are super epic same setup dude this is going to be absolutely insane it's definitely going to have a, a way more off-road capability exactly dude. and i think those are mainly for the trailing arms is so you don't bend those over here these are aluminum so they're going to be much stronger dude, dude. much stronger and they're going to articulate a lot better exactly dude. and the himes last way way longer dude, than the regular years, dude um whatever joints you got there but also we dude, tossed in that pumpkin dude, dude the whole entire thing the actual tube fit perfectly we snapped it in bolted it down bolted it back inside the bronco along with the steering rack dude it's all ready to go it's all ready for the suspension that's why we're unboxing everything because we are about to throw this lift kit on and have this thing sitting on all fours dude, dude finally and it's going to sit a lot taller i think these are like 2.5 inches but they're completely adjustable so we can go like yeah. seven inches tall dude you don't want to go that tall <laughs> but yeah they're completely adjustable and uh what i figured out is the sasquatch already comes factory lifted you know what i mean really yeah it comes factory lifted that's why it gives Gives you the bigger tire setup and those are beadlock capable wheels which those are awesome wheels we may what? end up just running those you dude. just put some bigger tires Maybe, on it or something dude, like that who epic, knows dude. dude that is pretty cool but that right there is the ultimate man that is just so oh, sweet right place there these things dude i think it comes with some brackets so we'll find a nice place to just have them on display dude, dude that's gonna be epic yes sir dude. but also this right here look at this we have a huge mess we had to kind of crack this one open because we didn't know how to take it apart originally we could have just snapped it yeah, out right snapped it out but it's it's good to know exactly what this is made of that's that way if you break it on the trail pop it out replace it do whatever you want to exactly. do exactly but dude i think it is time man i think dude. it is time to go ahead and get this sucker off the frame machine man dude, let's go ahead throw this suspension on and uh get it drive off drive it off drive dude. it off
only drives on all fours, dude. Oh my dude. goodness, did you see how the sucker came off of that frame machine? Dude, dude? I put that sucker in four low and it cleared that thing with no problem. Wow, dude. dude, that is awesome. So that means we got everything put together correctly with like the differential and everything and the lift kit dude, as well, look dude. Look how sick this lift kit is. Rad flow coilovers all throughout in all four corners. Got the Camberg links right there at the top, dude. That just looks absolutely incredible. It sits way taller, dude, with the fender flares or the fenders, it's gonna even look taller, dude. dude. Oh my goodness, that is perfect right there. Everything, the lift kit's basically done. This sucker drives, but there is a few little issues with it turning. We'll have to tune it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, definitely gonna need a full alignment on this thing, 100%, especially if you lift it this tall. And we didn't throw on the rear trailing arms because we were just running out of time. Those are gonna look super oh sick on the goodness, back over there. Dude. But look, we got the reservoir right here. Everything looks good, everything's clearing. It just looks amazing, dude. All I'm saying is this thing just needs some 35 inch tires, probably on these wheels because these wheels, I really dig these wheels. They look really good. Just go bigger tires and maybe throw some spacers on this thing. That way it looks good with the fender flares. Dude, it's gonna look dude, amazing. I think honestly, that's all this sucker needs. And of course, we're gonna throw on a few other little accessories here and there. But let me see how it looks out the back right here. Dude, straight up beef, dude. We need to put this sucker to the test, I'm dude. I'm telling you, man, that is just legit right there. It's finally driving, which is, that's just a huge accomplishment because now we can go to the paint booth with this thing. We can finish spraying all that stuff up, throw everything together and get this thing hitting the streets. guys so we quickly just threw on some freshly painted body panels just the hood and the fender and i gotta say that is looking absolutely insane can't wait to throw on the rest of the wide body it's just gonna completely flow and of course we still gotta do the spacers bigger tires but that's all coming here soon this sucker right here is almost finished up literally just a little bit more and this sucker will be hitting the trails the mountains some rock bouncing I don't know what we're going to do with this thing, but we're definitely going to put it to the test. But you know what, guys? That's going to be a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Definitely drop all your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.